Hmm. Greetings, and welcome to this part of Let's Play Chrono Master. I'm Leo, and uh, after I ended the last video, I spent, well, close to an hour actually trying to figure out exactly what I needed to do. And so, I'm gonna try to show you that I've... And I hope I remember everything. Alright, so first off, let's deal with these eyes, because they're really annoying me. We could use pollen, which we can get from the flowers at the uh, humble bumblebee patch, not humblebee. But we can also use this mirror shard to blind the eyes. There, that's better. vertical motion of the mouse is still reversed. Doesn't matter. Right. First let's take what's loose. This recipe. And these fridge magnets. Then we open the fridge. The refrigerator. And the freezer. Alright. So, let's we step back. As usual, this fridge has the common components like a brainsicle, a bowl with a hole in it, and some hatch clippers, or shears. And now we don't need the refrigerator and the freezer anymore. There's also this table in the back. This table is a real conversation piece. Considering the nature of this universe, that's actually meant literally. Well, we can't talk to it right now. But, if I do this... I am a stair, not a table leaf. But Mary will need me here. I will be punished if I leave without leaving a leaf behind. Quite cryptic. All right, so now ha ha, very funny. All right, the mouse is back to normal. All right, so the basic idea is that I need to find uh, steps for a stairway so I can get to the world key in a final room that I haven't shown you yet. At present I have... Ha ha. This goes on. Well, I have no steps. So I've got some work to do. Ha ha. Very fun. At least the music stopped. Alright. First in this room. Let's tinker with this mailbox. Let's push the flag. Then we can open it. And there's a letter inside. A letter from Meruind. What does it say? Does North trouble you, my unwelcome guest? You need north less than you need a stair. Walk on steps that have not but their shape to make them king, but only in the room of the key. It's not the color of the bottle, but its curves that matter. Enjoying my garden tomorrow? As long as you left that all too serious dream catcher with the stars, I can allow your wanderings. Does she ever say anything directly? What scares me is that maybe this is direct for her. She seems to be trying to help you. I wonder why. Hey, what happened to all the letters? My paper is blank. Well, the letters have fallen to the floor. So now I have a pile of letters. I then add the letters to the, pi to, to the piece of blank paper. And now I have a letter to Merowind. Which reads, My dear, all too rational Merowind, what? 
While I have no difficulty understanding you, perhaps a demonstration of your affections is in order, or not. Please send me a favor, a remembrance. One of the stairs you speak of will do, I am certain. I have no idea if you could actually get those letters out of what she wrote to you, but it doesn't matter. Right, so we put the letter in the envelope, put the envelope in the mailbox, close it, push it, and then push it again. Open the mailbox, and then there's a packet, package, which holds the stair step. That's one. <laughs> All right. Bath. This has to. What's this way again? No, we don't want to be here just yet. Um, going left here. Where does that take me again? Huh. Um, over here. All right, this brings me to the bees, I think. Yes. All right, so the bumblebees will not help me unless I help them, so I'll take the flowers. I better put this away, it's going in my eyes. I now have regu regular pollen, so I'll give that to the bees. Here's some power. Now that you're ahead on your work, could you help me? Thanks for the pollen, but we could have gotten that ourselves. If you want to help, get us flowers we can't reach. Well, which flowers can't bumblebees reach? It's these water flowers. So let's get them. We stand the two cups of pull. Well, luckily I have some shears. But of course Corda is in the way. Alright, so I use the shears on the water flowers. The shears have instantly rusted, so now I have aquatic pollen. Here's some pollen from the waterfall pool. I hope I didn't get it too wet. Oh, this is lovely. We will help you now. I need the board that's under those leaves. Can you bring it to me? It's too heavy for us. Jester, be a sweetheart and give those bees some help with the board. I calculate it's still too heavy, boss. We need another way to go about this. That rake over there might be what I need to reach the board. It's out of my reach, though. Bees, can you fetch it for me? The rake is too heavy for us. Everything is too heavy today. Mm. But perhaps with Jester's help. Jester, I know I've been working you pretty hard, but would you give the bees some help lifting that rake? Sure, Boz. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate me. <laughs> now I have what I need. Thanks to you all for your help. You're welcome. Alright, take the rake. Use the rake on the leaves. And I, now I have a table leaf. My hero. And a leaflet. The palms are hurting me. This appears to be a travel guide for Jungen. I wonder if this could be useful. Well, it is, but not to us. I also still need this chisel. Since it is out of my reach, I'll just try to use the magnet on it. Oh, uh, damn it. The chisel. 
Right, now the chisel is on land, but it's also rusted. Luckily there is a flat stone here, or a rock, that I can use to sharpen the chisel. Now I can use the chisel on the tree. Apply a little force. And now I have my second board. And that pretty much concludes what I need to do here. Yep. So let's fake it, premises. Let's see, going this way will Bath. bring me here. Alright, that's near the exit, that's where I wanted to be actually. Now that we have that uh, leaflet for the Jungen, I need to inform Milo. A little sanity break before we dive into the maze again. Jester's going to transmit to Shrike a map detailing locations on Jungen. This may save you some time. I hope you're doing well. Have you considered what hard work revenge would be? Oh, you're not even waiting for a response? Alright, back to the grind. So now we go this way. Oh, how I'd love to meet the designer of this. So far we can only go one way. Ha <laughs> ha. I need a haircut. Right, and then we need to go down this way. Too bizarre. Alright, now the horizontal thing is reversed. Alright, let's blind the eyes again. So. Alright, and then use the table leaf on the table. Now I have three steps. Huh. And now I don't have to go into that room again, so let's move on. to the post box place. What's up here again? Uh, let's go right, I think. Ah, 
I need a haircut. Oh, three times in a row? Come on! Give my poor ears a break. I know I could turn off the music, but I don't want to. I'm stronger uh -huh. than this. Very funny. Right, we're in the room with Castor and Pollux. Right, I was also figuring this one out. You'll not get the dream catcher, Merry Wind. I'm not. Yeah, we've well, already heard this before. Mary. Not at all. Dream. I. Right, we reason. Look. Good point. So instead of pleading, we can offer a loan. You mentioned that you were running out of time to stop Merry Wind. Might I trade you one of my bottled times for the use of the dream catcher? Now you are talking value for value. We accept. The dream catcher is yours for a time. Thank you. I will be careful with it. Alright. Now we can use the dream catcher to get the reflection of a stair step. And get an actual stair step. Uh, now we have four stairs. We open the mirror. Inside is a sleepy syrup bottle and some medicine. Mental first aid kit. We can use that to restore ourselves should we become too chaotic. And now that we have the dream catcher, we can safely open the vault. Because if we don't, we actually just start getting more chaotic. And down we go. What is it with these eyes in this world? They must be important. That's a very strange bird. Merrywind. She seems to have taken control of the parrot, though. Well, let's talk. Hello, Merrywind. I have your all-too-serious dream catcher here. What do you think of that? Lovely. Lovely. Them selfish twins wouldn't share with me. I will surrender to you, my day, if you make me a gift of that pretty web. Alright, she's a lunatic. I, in general, do not try to uh, deal with lunatics, so I'm gonna refuse. Sorry, Merrywind. I've learned better than to believe that you ever mean what you say. The last bit made far too much sense. I suspect you mean to trick me. Alright. Well, there's a fifth board here. But if we try to take it, I it moves. So now we have to make sure that it doesn't move. So first, we're gonna pick the picture up here. And we're gonna open this door it looks like Maribund has a skeleton in the closet alright let's try and take the stair step then I can't do that move it again, move it again. I can't do that. I can't do that. so now we take the loose nail and now the stair step has nowhere to go alright as funny as that music is I'm gonna close the door Alright, so where does this door lead? It leads there. Hmm, something happened to the room. Someone has definitely lost their hold on reality. And now I'm back with the bees again. Oh, the parrot has returned to normal. Alright. This is true. Huh. Alright, now we're back in the maze. So now we just need to talk to those smallings who have one board. Yeah. Don't think you 
you're getting in our little overcrowded boat. You turn around and head back the way you came. Ah, all right, now I want to do something counterintuitive and give them more boards. Or more boats. One extra boat is never enough. Right, then you can have another one. You now have three damned boats. The goldfish are gone. Can we talk? Each have a boat of our own. What a thought. If that's all you think of our boat, well, you can just have ours and all the others for yourself. See what good it does. Right. I'll just take all the boats and see what good they do me. Is this making any more sense to you, Jester? Nope, boss. Not a bit. But at least you have three boats. Ah, stairs. Right. Now I have six steps. Boss, these guys' clothes look just like the ones the crazy boy had on. And they're small enough to fit your dolly. Interesting. But Our clothes? Do you hear that? He'd take the clothes right off our backs. They're not for sale, mister! I have no time for you. Why did you do that? You look pretty grimy to me. But you can just sit there in your wet clothes until they dry. No, we don't. We can take the wet clothes off and let the wet ones get dry. Well, I wouldn't want you to get cold, so take these clothes instead. I'll just take the wet clothes away so they won't mess up your room. Right, so now I have a. Whoop. I have a doll that is dressed like the backwards boy. Yay! Boss, you need a hair. On to the back, what's boy go? Ha ha. Fuck, you need a haircut. Ridiculous. Alright, so that's the end of this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.